Well, folks, Minecraft's 15th anniversary came and it passed. And, well, uh, yeah, that's about all it did. <laughs> so, that's uh, not really a good thing for an occasion like a 15th anniversary. But overall, the anniversary itself was quite disappointing in terms of the celebration. If I really wanted to stretch it, I could make an argument for it even being embarrassing for Mojang, but that might be a stretch. But why was it so bad? Because it really was. Well, we're gonna get into all of that in this video. So, to start off, I want to talk about the pre-anniversary hype, and I know there were people hyping up things for like a biome vote loser to be added for the anniversary or something. I talked about in my pre-15th anniversary video that that's uh, not something that you should expect, but it's something you can hope for if you want. Uh, why people were expecting specifically a biome vote loser that I really don't know. There's not much reasoning to it specifically. But there was reasoning to expect new Minecraft content. I personally went into the anniversary with pretty high hopes but pretty low expectations. Just expecting something however small new for the game itself. Aside from the 15 paintings which kind of just felt like their own random thing because they were revealed so far before the actual anniversary and celebration. But I didn't even have those expectations met. There was, if you go into the game Minecraft, ignore all the promotions and stuff from the anniversary, nothing changed. There was nothing new to commemorate the anniversary whatsoever exactly the same as it was before, completely untouched. And so, I'm sure people who did, you know, come to expect that biome vote are probably disappointed. Again, I really don't know why that is specifically what people were going to. There is one potential reason, and that's that, if, think about this way. With the 15th anniversary, this was Mojang's big chance. You know, they don't have another big anniversary like this for another five years. This was their big chance in a time where the community has, for the most part, been pretty unhappy with them and kind of just disappointed. You know, it, the hype around the game had died out heavily. People had lost faith in Mojang. This was a big chance to bring back hype and please the community, right? That's what they should try to do for the 15th anniversary. Please the community, right? But that's not what happened anyway. So one thing that they could have done that to do that was bring back an old biome vote loser or an old mob vote loser, right? After things like the stop the mob vote controversy and all that stuff, it would have been a good way to please the community. Especially I talked about sort of jokingly in my video if they brought back the crab and penguin. Since technically the armadillo got added before they could have added them in 1.21. And they still will have kept their promise of adding the armadillo first. But... And anyway, obviously, none of that happened. So, it left a lot of people disappointed. Now, and as to why there was actually reason to expect new content for Minecraft, aside from it being, you know, a 15th anniversary, there should be something new for the game itself to celebrate the game, not the money and you make from the game with promotions. But... Anyway, there was also the fact that 1.21 so far, or Trails and, not tri <laughs> Tricky Trials, if you compare it to Trails and Tales 1.20 last year, and the rate of development, we'd been seeing much 
slower development with 1.21 this year than we had last year with 1.20. And 1.21, by this point, what it's looking like it'll be like for release, is probably the smallest Minecraft update that we've had in years. I dare say even a decade. It's it's weird and doesn't make sense, especially when, you know, we've been being told things like the Mojang's been working on tools to expedite development. Why is the update smaller than the previous ones? Anyway, I will be doing a whole video talking about that because game development is a kind of tricky thing that can have a lot of unanticipated setbacks and setbacks and all that stuff. So that is just a topic for a whole nother video. But anyway, yes, the small size of 1.21 was another reason to expect that there was still some big reveal being held off because it seemed like Mojang had been working on something behind the scenes given the fact that there were just long periods of time where they weren't really releasing anything, like really small bug fixes, basically nothing. Long stretches of time without anything. So that led a lot of people to the conclusion that they're working on something behind the scenes that'll be revealed for the anniversary. And there was logic to that. There was fairly sound logic to that. But it again, it wasn't something that you really should have expected. What should have been expected was just at least something for the game itself. Uh, in the trailer for the anniversary, they showed off a new pottery shirt design with like a treasure map that dropped a map to something. And so people were saying, maybe we'll get that. And yeah, that was reasonable. I also saw an argument, though, that it's just like the whole situation with the village and pillage trailer where people thought we were getting blue redstone or something because of an er animation error in the trailer where they accidentally made a redstone dust of blue in the background. This was very different from that. <laughs> in many ways one this was an entire new design for a pottery shirt with an entire thought out feature basically that it's a pottery shirt of a treasure map it drops a treasure map i i really don't know why they put that in the trailer if they weren't gonna add it but because it really had like nothing to do with the trailer but anyway meanwhile the blue redstone that was just a miscoloration of an already existing item that that was really only very small in the background for a bit also that was for a, a trailer for an update that was already releasing this now was around the time of the anniversary when it was reasonable to expect a little new feature to be revealed so it was yeah a lot more reasonable to expect that pottery shirt honestly I'm not an expert in game development, but I can't imagine that after already designing the pottery shirt, it would have been that much more difficult to add it to the game itself. Like, would it have been more difficult to add it to the game itself than to animate it in the trailer? Probably a bit, but not much. Like, why go to the effort just to make it not even real in the game at that point? But anyway, it's not entirely my area to speak. I, again, don't know a lot about game development as actual professional developers. So I won't get too much into that. But anyway, the most important thing here that I want to talk about that made the anniversary so sad and disappointing was the promotion the anniversary was typed up in that trailer and advertised as like 15 days of gifts separate from the bedrock marketplace gifts and so we got a little instagram post for each day not actually every day there was one or two days that they just straight up skipped i think so yeah that happened anyway 
Uh, but yeah, there were a few that were actual gifts, like, you know, uh, the capes. Those were split into two different days, though. Some other things. But then there were a lot that were just promotions. Like, oh, today your gift is an advertisement for Marketplace add-ons. <laughs> you see what I mean with that, right? Or one day it was an advertisement for these new Minecraft-themed keyboards we're making. That's not a gift. I saw it pointed out in the comments that they seemingly did not know, Mojang didn't know the definition of a gift because you have to buy it. <laughs> Which, yeah, it's true. I mean, it was kind of false advertising in that trailer. Anyway, it was just ended up being, for the most part, promotion after promotion after promotion for just more and more attempts from Mojang to just try and get more and more money instead of actually doing anything for the game itself. They did nothing for Minecraft as a game. Nothing. And then they just tried to make more money off of Minecraft-inspired things or content in the marketplace. That's all they were focused on this anniversary was profit, nothing else. They seemingly didn't care about the game at all. And that, that's important. See, there's been this talk of Mojang really doesn't care about Minecraft. They only care about the money, which as a company, obviously, they do need to make money to stay afloat. That's just how it works. But also that they put more effort into marketing the game than they do for actually making updates, which very well might actually be true. We don't know exactly the numbers of the staff and all the divisions at Mojang. They might have more staff for all marketing stuff than they might have for update teams, right? They, Not everyone at Mojang works on updates. They have other stuff that they work on like promotions and marketing and that stuff and clearly this update had or this anniversary had nothing to do with the game itself i wouldn't even call it a celebration of the game i'd call it an ad just a 15 day long ad of mojang asking for money basically that Towards the end, just, I thought it felt almost shameless, really. It was, it was sad. It was disappointing because it showed what they cared about. Not Minecraft, but money. That's all. And that's not necessarily true, but that's just the impression that this whole thing gave. It was dare I say, almost embarrassing for Mojang, really. It was a show of values and a test for Mojang, you might say, and they failed miserably. It, politely, it sucked, basically. And that was just sad to see. Again, I don't hate Mojang. You need to make money as a company but I mean just all of the advertising for what was supposed to be a celebration of the game where they could have done things for the game itself instead of just trying to make promotion and or make money off of stuff related to it it was sad to see and there's nothing we can really do about it sadly but that's just the reality of it, unfortunately. And it was just a big disappointment. Better luck in the next five years, I guess, for the 20th anniversary. But this one, this one was just a massive failure, if I'm being honest. There was nothing really exciting, just uh, three capes and that's it. So I'm 
sorry, everyone. But that'll do it. If you enjoyed or found this video interesting, I have tons of videos like this on my channel and only plan to keep making more along with some other side stuff. So consider helping me out and subscribing Try and my journey to try and make the Minecraft community a better space on the internet than it is today, which is a very daunting task that is impossible for me alone. So, you know, I need everyone's help with that kind of thing. So consider subscribing. Helps me out a ton. If you enjoyed, leave a like, maybe. And I hope to see you in another one. This was kind of a heavy video for me to make, honestly, because it was just, everything that happened was just sad. There's no happy ending to this. What happened, happened. It, it's in the past now, and hopefully we can move forward, and what we can do as a community is let Mojang know that we want their focus to be on Minecraft more than promoting stuff. Honestly, all of that advertising they do for the Bedrock Marketplace, it's become counterproductive for me and I'd imagine some other people where you see, you've seen so many ads that at this point you just see an ad and you're like, that makes me not want to go on the marketplace even more now. Maybe that's just me, but anyway, hopefully we can move on. And now, finally, goodbye everyone. Catch you in the next one.